Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the chat. This is the Market Beast. We're going into the Crypto Flight Edition. Let's see how the last video aged as we made a post about BTC near $29,500. Looks like we got a nice bounce off that level. So let's go ahead and um, see what we can expect to see next. We're going to take a look at the Fibonacci retracement. So I'm going to pull that up for you all and give you one level as a breakthrough to end, to finally end this uh, downtrend. Okay, so let's dive into the charts here, shall we? So today's July the 22nd, 2021, and the current price of Bitcoin, $32,613.37, slightly positive 0.9% for the day. All right, so let's get right into it here, guys. All right, so uh, hopefully we left a link for our last video. Let's put the crucial levels. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so the same thing, guys. Look at this. I can't make that up. $29,500. Uh, when we made that video, we were very nervous because we thought Bitcoin was going to continue lower, but we still had a bullish bias. Not bearish. No, 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 no. Not bearish, guys. Bullish. We're still saying BTC looks bullish. We're going to get that bounce. Well, we have potential to get that bounce. So let's pull out the, uh, I want to show you something here. The Fibonacci retracement. Do you guys remember when we pulled up the Fibonacci retracement tool and we were saying that the market continues to get rejected from the 618? So what I'm going to do is measure from this level here at about June the 15th. That's at about $41,000. And measure it all the way down to the lower wick, the lower shadow down here, June the 22nd at about $28,000. And I'm going to show you the Fibonacci retracement where it continues to get rejected at the 618 and show you that there's only one level that BTC needs to break above in order to stop this nasty downtrend that continues to shake up the market and get the uh, investors uh, out of their positions here but we're no no guys we haven't been shaken out of our position we've been very consistent about there should be a bounce somewhere okay eventually all right so you see this white line here this is a 618 again just kind of let you guys know we just measure from the highs here all right want everyone to be on the same page the highs here and we started and we ended it down here in terms of our Fibonacci retracement tool like if you're measuring it and you have you got tradingview.com if you're using anything I just want to show you how to pull this up you're looking for that 618 on the Fibonacci retracement as the BTC continues to get rejected from that level right here I can't make that up all right so what we're going to do is take the same Fibonacci or use a fresh uh, newly minted Fibonacci retracement tool and what I'm going to do is go do the same thing guys we're going to measure from the I guess we can do it here as well but I, I think I measured like right here okay I'm just going from the the swing highs to the swing lows it's basically the previous um, high to the lowest point okay you can do this on any chart so let's do this let's actually start here at about 34,000 and then let's measure at the uh, the swing low down here at about 29,000 so let's take our Fibonacci retracement tool go from wick to wick and if you notice right there we're like right at that level right now it's at about 32,500 dollars. $32, so if the market is going to continue lower it's like it's going to get rejected right here right now okay in front of our eyes over the next 24 hours I don't think it's going to take longer than that if you want to be conservative, let's give it 48 hours. Uh, what do I think this is going to happen? Guys, I'm still bullish to market, okay? I'm not sure what's going to happen. If it gets a rejection, that's fine with me. The only thing that I'm waiting to see is actually we got the uh, 32,600, right? Let's do this. Let's erase that. And let's actually do this. Let's go from the most, the local high. Instead of, because we, we've already measured from this level, uh, like 41,000 to the lowest level down here, this shadow down here at about $28,000. So let's do this. Let's actually measure it from here at about 35,800. And then let's just go to the lows, the most previous lows, or the most recent lows down here at about 29,000, okay? And then we'll find the, the 618 and see where that is. Let's go from wick to wick, right there. Okay, so let's end this video. Short video, really simple to understand. Uh, forget about the 32,600. If Bitcoin at some point, let's just give it a full week, okay? If Bitcoin can break above and stay above the 618, which is currently at, take notes please, $33,800, okay? That would mean that the market is trying to shift this nasty downtrend and potentially move it to the upside, okay? Excuse me. So that is the only level. That's going to be the breakthrough level. Well, maybe the title suggests a breakthrough level. And I realize someone's saying, no, no, no. It has to go higher than the previous high. Like up here at about 36,000. Yes, I, I understand that. But 
the only thing that I'm measuring is a 618 on the Fibonacci retracement tool that has been rejected at least one time uh, over the course of this uh, this move to the downside. Guys, the market is going to move up. OK, even if there's a rejection here, the market is going to move. I can't say going. Pardon me there, lawyer. The market will likely move higher eventually here. Our price targets have been very consistent. 40,000 up to $48,000 Bitcoin. We'll likely see that at some point. It's hard for me to time it, but you have the breakthrough level. Let's, let's end the video, guys. Breakthrough level, we'll say it one more time, we'll close it out, okay? Just take note of that level. If you see the markets above that level, it might be showtime. So get ready, all right? It's breaking above that 618. And, you know, it might be out of this downtrend. $33,800. That's it. Really simple. Really, really simple. So that's it. So live an appropriate thumb just below the video. If you enjoyed the content, if you have the one level, leave a prayer hand in the comment section or something. Um, also, if you're new before you go, we covered the traditional stocks seven days a week. So come and join us here on this interesting journey. And we'll send you that information when it is available. All right. I appreciate your time, guys. Stopping out tonight or whatever time it is where you are. Execute your strategies. Take care of yourselves. Be kind. We'll talk soon. And bye for now.